goals six and eight two changes to the team which was assembled against Norwich and Jason Lakilo gets a debut today Ruben Vinagri drops out of the team with a muscle injury so too does Harry Vaughan with an ankle problem so Lakilo comes in as well as Sean McLaughlin meaning Jacob Greaves pushes over to the left hand side so Hull City's team in full today is Ingram in goal Coyle, Jones, McLaughlin and Greaves as the back four Regan Slater, John Michael Seri in the middle of midfield Traore, Jason Lakilo either side Ozan Tufan dropping between attack and midfield with Liam Delap the out and out striker the bench for the Tigers today has Timothy Latutala Brandon Fleming, Cyrus Christie, Andy Smith, Ollie Green might get his league debut should he get the opportunity. Aaron Connolly, Oscar Estepinian, Xavier Simons, and Ryan Longman. Bakinson has it in midfield for Sheffield Wednesday. He will play now towards Dominic Iorfa. Pushing the ball through towards Callum Patterson, who got caught with Jacob Greaves. Patterson gets up, takes it quickly, Iorfa into the area, and Sheffield Wednesday score! Now Regan Slater is furious, he's gone over to the referee about something, Liam Rossini also protesting, Sheffield Wednesday took the free kick very quickly, And the goal scorer, Juan Delgado, takes the plaudits of his teammates. From the free kick, Lukilo. It's got around Delgado. He stands up across, looking for Jacob Greaves. Now he was caught across the face, and the referee says penalty. Greaves went up for it at the back stick. He was caught with a trailing arm. He went down immediately. Matt Donahue wants the referee to come on. And Ozan Tufan has placed that ball down pretty quickly. The referee immediately giving a penalty. I think it was the correct decision. Don't think he, Sheffield Wednesday can have too much complaint about it, even though two or three in blue and white shirts did at the meantime. As Tufan now right-footed. Tufan netted on the opening day last season here. And Tufan has done it again and has brought Hull City level before half-time. It would have been a little bit of an injustice on Hull City if they hadn't been at least level at half-time and that is likely what will happen now Ozan Tufan and Josh Windas the Wembley winner in the summer and Hull City now looking to build through the midfield as Seri plays it towards Tufan and Tufan Sending it out to that right side again, looking for Louis Coyle. It's been telepathic the number of times that Tufan has picked out the captain as Coyle has Slater to his left-hand side in the middle of the Sheffield Wednesday half. Slater allowed to run at the Sheffield Wednesday defence. Comes to the edge of the area! Oh, Tufan with a beauty! Sheffield Wednesday just stood off and Tufan let fly. It had swerve and it had accuracy. Hull City take the lead. And Ozan Tufan with an absolute peach. In the meantime, Traore is looking to deliver. And there's five waiting in the box for him. Greaves peeling away from his man. In it swings towards the six-yard box, headed out by Matthew Smith. Slater recycles and finds Lakilo to the edge of the box on the right. Lakilo to Slater. Slater now to Seri. Seri plays it back to Traore. He's going to tiptoe into the area. Traore sets up Ozan Tufan. He's got a hat trick. And Hull City might have all three points. He 
He was waiting for the ball to be presented to that right foot and bang. Hull City 3, Sheffield Wednesday 1. The goal and Ozan Tufan is having the time of his life. As uh, Sheffield Wednesday try to play long. And it, oh, under pressure, horrible moment in the Sheffield Wednesday defence and Connolly takes full advantage. That came out of absolutely nowhere. Sheffield Wednesday had the ball in their final third. Vasquez came right across to the left side of his penalty area. Sheffield Wednesday played it into the box, but he only found Aaron Connolly. Fame well, Hull City heading to their biggest home victory. On the opening day of a home campaign since they played Darlington back in 2003-2004. By the same scoreline of four goals to one. Sheffield Wednesday might have something to say because they're in the penalty area and they've bagged a consolation. And they just found a little bit of space which is going to annoy Liam Rossini. He kicks the bottle next to the dugout and he'll be disappointed there as Hull City just letting their guard down right at the end of the game and it was a simple goal more than anything. 